What's up guys? What's happening? Oh well, just chilling here in the coach and waiting some hours to go by so that I can go to work, man. What's happening, YouTubers? There's a people out there that keep saying that, oh, China, China is invading Africa. China is taking over Africa. China, China, China. China, China. Some people are complaining about China. No one is going to come to your house without invitation. No? No one can come to your house without invitations. Otherwise, that person is uh, an invader or is coming for a different reason. We have lots of countries around here. They just come to your house because they are superpowers. They just showed up. You should worry about those kind of superpowers that just showed up to your home without invitations. But China, China, China. Oh, China is invading Africa. Oh, China is taking over Africa. China is not taking over Africa. You are your own leaders, your own African leaders, invited Chinese government to come and assess, you know, and to come to their country to help. To help what? Uh, in infrastructures. To help building uh, houses, build uh, bridges roads, you know, financial support, you know. So if you the one that invited, uh, your leaders invited Chinese government to come and help you building uh, all kinds of stuff, why then some people out there, out there, they say, oh, Chinese is invading Africa. Chinese is taking over Africa. I saw this clip in Gigomba, in Nairobi. Oh, Chinese is taking over Gigomba, Gigomba. No, you can, you, can, you can come to a certain country with different visa. And you may like that country and say, oh, I like this country. I like to live here. I like to do a business over here. It's not necessarily you have to apply a business visa from your country. It's not necessarily. For example, I can go to Ghana or Nigeria and say, oh, I like this place, man. What should I do? So you seek advi uh, um, advices from uh, government officials what to do. Once they say it's okay, we're going to give you a, a work permit so that you can open business here, it's fine. You know, we have all tons of people from uh, all over the world, they come here in America with a student visa, uh, with a residence visa, all kinds of visas. But once they love this country, they go with the right channels. They go to the official, they seek advices, uh, how uh, they could, uh, they could uh, 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 obtain uh, their work permits or obtain their uh, residence visas, or, uh, green cards, whatever. And uh, maybe in future, if that person has ambition to open a business, you know, they'll open a business. They go uh, to the right channel uh, to, to get a, a license so that they can open business. So it's not necessarily you have to come to a certain country with a business visa already or work a visa already, no. Like this, the Kenyan issue, the Gikomba issue thing. Uh, the minister Matian, Matian, Matiani, yeah. Oh, you will just okay. Uh, if 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 some of Chinese open business in Kenya illegally, that that is uh, uh, yeah, they deserve to be deported. They deserve to be deported. Or if they came in Kenya legally, but they opened business illegally then uh, they can say, okay, uh, 
they can give some fines and uh, they can apply uh, a work visa. But because they're already working here illegally, even if they came into, into the country legally and they open, open business, business illegally, that's a violation of immigration uh, laws. So yeah, Matiangi in that area is right. Yeah, they need to deport these guys back in China so that they can apply uh, 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 business or work visa from their own country. But if you come uh, legally in that country and you wanna open a business, you can go in, uh, to the right channels. You go, you go to uh, 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 government officials and find advice, uh, advisors, as I said, uh, in order to obtain uh, work, uh, work permits. You know, that's totally accepted, you know what I'm saying? But other people out there are crying, crying, oh, China is, ta China is, is, is taking our freaking um, countries, taking Africa. China is not taking in Africa. You know, we are, we, we, our leaders invited China, you know, government to help them to build some roads, you know. China is not bringing you some weapons, guns and war machines to go fight each other like other countries. They are bringing you uh, weapons, you know, all kinds of weapons so that you can go and fight your own fellow black man, whether it's a Mali, Somalia, Cote d'Ivoire, you know, whatever, uh, South Sudan, you know, why is this South Sudan is still going on, is still fighting? What's wrong? What's going on? I thought they're going to split with Sudan so that they can be in peace, but they're splitting with Sudan, but they're still, uh, they're still uh, on war. The war is still going on. So who's doing this? Who's bringing some uh, weapons to these poor African people to fight each other, to kill each other? Your own a government. Inafanya hivyo kwa sababu to consolidate power. No, no. You, you, you create some fear to your, uh, to your own people so that you can consolidate power. Yeah, to be fearful. You know, to be strong as a leader. By just planting some uh, mine, mining, I mean planting some uh, explosion here and there. You know. So they'll say, oh, look, look, Al-Shabaab, look, Al-Shabaab. But it's your own intelligence. You send your own intelligence to plant some explosion uh, somewhere, and Garissa, uh, Marsabit, something like that, so that you can consolidate power, you know, to make people fear you. You know what I'm saying? So this is a classic evil. The classic evil. You do something against your own people and and if something happened your people are dying you blame somebody else but you are the one that did that so that you can as i said you can consolidate power you become powerful you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm just laying down in the couch man uh, the time is running out but it's okay uh, almost work time but okay guys you know the intelligence and whatever, man. The intelligence, say, hey, the intelligence here. You know, you go to a, uh, to a Kenyan citizens, the, the person that you don't like, I mean, the government that don't like that person, and you go to some point, some, somebody's uh, uh, vicinity, you know, and then you plant some guns in there. Or you go to the uh, to, the, to the mosque, you plant some guns inside mosque because you have your own agencies there. 
a handman there. The handmen they are going to plant some uh, guns, grenade there in the, in the mosque. And then you come around again, you said, oh, you see, oh, this is dangerous. This is Shabab, we are going in the mosque, man. We found some two grenades. We found uh, the old, old three AK-47, you know, some, are, some of them are not even working. You know, those are too old. That's the evil of, of some, uh, it's a classic evil of some of the government if they don't like a person, you know. They come around you, uh, they're planting some stuff in, in your house, you know, they're planting some stuff or they, uh, in your a vehicle, stuff like that, because they, they are looking for some reason. They are looking for any reason to, uh, to kill you, you know. And uh, before that, uh, if they find that kind of stuff in the mosque or somewhere else, uh, they say, okay, you see, you see, so they put this stuff in the news, you know, every news, you go psycho and psycho, psycho, terrorism, terrorism, okay? But actually, the government itself is behind it, you know? Like the government is kidnapping uh, 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 kids, kidnapping women, forcing them, you know? Uh, to go kidnapping them to go somewhere and all of, all of the sudden uh, they come out and all of, all, of, all of the sudden they became a, a terrorism you know? I'm talking this stuff in the case of uh, Mombasa you know? this thing has happened a lot but you guys be careful there okay all right I'm just a mouthpiece man I'm just a messenger you know if you're gonna listen if you're not gonna listen it's up to you, man, because I'm a, uh, I'm a true master messenger, man. So I'm watching where the wind is going. You know, I'm just putting my flag, all, all right? Or my flag, I'll see where the wind is blowing. So if the wind is blowing south, I'm talking about south. If the wind is blow, blowing north, I'm talking about north. If the, the, the flag is blowing east, I'm talking east. If the uh, flag is blowing west I'm talking west so so I've been talking western country I've been talking Africa I've been talking Scandinavians you know so guys you can subscribe uh, if you want to and uh, you can put your comments you know put your comments please and please give me thumbs up okay all right time's running out all right